Hello friends, this video on life processes part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at the nutrition in amoeba. So we know, all know that amoeba is an unicellular organism that is it has only one cell. And the type of nutrition which amoeba has is again holozoic. That means amoeba takes in complex organic matter as food. So you are all familiar with how an amoeba looks like, right? We have studied that in diversity in living organisms in class 9th. Now let us see the different steps, how the different steps of holozoic nutrition happens in case of amoeba. So the first step is ingestion, that means intake of food. So for ingestion, amoeba uses the pseudopodia. What is pseudopodia? Pseudopodia, pseudo means false and podia means feet. So pseudopodia is false feet. What is false feet? It is nothing but a temporary extension of the cytoplasm. That means the cytoplasm of amoeba, it extends it. For example, it is the cytoplasm, it will extend it like this. Again, it will extend it like this. So wherever there is a food particle, the cytoplasm will extend it and will enclose the food. So that is how the intake of food will take place. So this process is known as phagocytosis. So intake of food by amoeba with the help of the pseudopodia is known as phagocytosis. So see here in this picture it is shown how the intake of food happens. If let us suppose this is the food particle. So now this is the amoeba. So now the cytoplasm will extend itself. So like this. Right? So now if you see this particle gets enclosed and as a result a food vacuole is formed and then the food is absorbed from that food vacuole. So this is how ingestion takes place. So ingestion takes place with the help of the pseudopodia or false feed and the process is known as phagocytosis. Now the next step is digestion. Now how the food is digested. So now the enzymes released by lysosomes in food vacuole, as I said, a food vacuole will be formed by the end of the ingestion process. Now in that food vacuole, some enzymes will be released by the lysosomes. What are lysosomes? In our lesson on cell, we saw that lysosomes are the cell organelles which are also known as suicidal bags because they release enzymes which breaks down itself. Right? So the enzymes which are released by the lysosomes in the food vacuole, those enzymes will actually help in converting the complex food into simpler form. So the complex food will get converted to simpler form. So where will this take place? This will take place inside the food vacuole, complex food into simpler form. So this is known as intracellular digestion. Why is this is called intracellular? Because this process of digestion takes place within the cell. That is why it is called intracellular. The third step is absorption. So what is absorption? Now the digested food then diffuses into the cytoplasm. So once the food is digested, so now that simple food will come back to the cytoplasm. So once it comes back to the cytoplasm, so it, it, it gets spread all over. So the food gets absorbed by the cytoplasm. Now is assimilation. So absorbed food stored and utilized later for synthesis. So this absorbed food is stored as fat or glycogen and it is later used for synthesis of protoplasm. What is protoplasm? It is the leaving substance of the cell that is the cytoplasm plus the nucleus that they are together known as protoplasm. So this absorbed food is then stored and it is used later for synthesis. So for synthesis of for example synthesis of protoplasm. And the last one that is ejection. So undigested food expelled out through cell membrane. Now whatever out of, the, let us suppose this is the food, right? This blue colored object. So whatever it's digested is fine. They will be in the cytoplasm and then they will be assimilated. But the remaining undigested part will be excreted out through the cell membrane. How? The cell membrane will get ruptured and then the undigested food will come out and the cell membrane will soon get repaired as well. So that is how the process of nutrition happens in case of amoeba. Intake of food with the help of pseudopodia, this is known as phagocytosis. Then the digestion of food will happen within the cell with the help of the enzymes released by lysosomes 
and then the digested food will be absorbed in the cytoplasm and it will be assimilated that is it will be stored and utilized later for synthesis and the undigested food will be expelled out through the cell membrane called digestion. Right? Okay. So let us look at the nutrition in another simple organism that is paramecium. So we all have studied about paramecium as well in class 9th. So let us see how nutrition happens in case of paramecium. So even paramecium ha is, has holozoic nutrition. So it feeds on microorganisms like bacteria, algae, yeast. So it feeds on such things. So that is also holozoic. So let us see how the different steps happen in case of paramecium. So the first step that is ingestion. How does how the intake of food takes place in case of paramecium by cilia through oral groove into gullet. So what is cilia? Cilia are the fine hair like structures on the outside. So these are the cilia. Right. What is oral groove? Oral means mouth. So what is oral groove? This is the oral groove. And what is gullet? This is the gullet. So the oral groove will end into a gullet. So this is the gullet. So the food is taken from this oral groove and from oral groove the food reaches into the gullet. Now how is the food obtained nearer? The food is brought nearer with the help of cilia. The function which pseudopodia plays in case of amoeba, the same function is played by cilia in case of paramecium. So cilia will actually help to get the food nearer and then the intake happens through the oral groove. There is one mouth like opening. And from that groove, it will go into the gullet. So food vacuole is formed. So here also the food will form a food vacuole. So now here the cilia will sweep food along with water through the oral groove into gullet. Now immediately the vacuole will not be formed. When enough food is accumulated, food vacuole is Formed. This food vacuole will keep on circulating through the cytoplasm in the cell. So this is the food vacuole. Suppose this is the food vacuole. So this vacuole will lie on the cytoplasm. So it will keep circulating through the cytoplasm because cytoplasm is a fluid like structure. So it will keep floating on the cytoplasm. So food vacuole will keep moving from one place to another in the cytoplasm. So this is how ingestion takes place. So ingestion happens with the help of cilia through the oral groove and goes into the gullet. When enough of food is accumulated, a food vacuole is formed which keeps circulating in the cytoplasm. Now the next step is digestion. So for digestion, we obviously need some enzymes so that they can break down the complex food into simpler molecules. So enzymes released by lysosomes enter the food vacuole. The term is known as intracellular digestion. So the same process will happen in case of paramecium also. Lysosomes will release some enzymes. Those enzymes will enter inside this vacuole and they will break down the complex food into simpler ones. Dig for absorption, the digested food diffuses to cytoplasm and the food vacuole shrinks. So inside the food vacuole was our food. So now due to the action of the enzymes inside the food vacuole, the food is digested. So the digested food will come out of the food vacuole. So, so once the content of the food vacuole is emptied, the food vacuole will shrink. And now the digested food will remain in the cytoplasm. Right? Assimilation, absorbed food nutrients are stored and uh, utilized later for synthesis. The same thing here. Ejection, undigested food expelled out through anal pore. So here in case of uh, a paramecium, we have an anal pore somewhere here. So through the anal pore, the undigested food is expelled out. So unlike uh, amoeba where the undigested food was expelled out from anywhere through the surface, but here we have a specific anal pore. So the, uh, some changes which were there in paramecium is that here we have a specific uh, or location through which intake of food happens that is the oral groove. Similarly there is a specific location from where the uh, waste products are excreted that is the anal pore. Right. So here what did we see the shrink the vacuole and the undigested food they will reach the anal pore the anal pore will rupture and will expel them out. So now we are, we are getting some idea on how holozoic nutrition takes place in different animals, 
right but so far we were talking only about the simple unicellular animals so here we have to deal with only one cell now once we get into the multicellular animals the complexity increases to a very large extent because there are so many cells and the cells are grouped together to perform specific functions right thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again